Well, as we continue into fall, symptoms of seasonal affective disorder and other mental illnesses can be amplified. In tonight's News Connection, Kayla Brown reports talking about it can make a difference. One in five adults experience mental illness each year, meaning if you or your immediate family don't suffer with mental illness, a friend or extended family member likely does. As we continue into fall and near daylight savings time, symptoms of seasonal affective disorder and other mental illnesses can be amplified. Daylight savings time was a big, um, this to be very depressing for me. But making the topic more public has been beneficial for stopping the stigma. One of the best things that has happened to mental health in the past several years is that people have come forward with their mental health concerns and made it public and made it not so much an inward struggle. Amy Mazel Flint from San Angelo Clubhouse says mental illness is often called the no casserole disease. That finding out one's neighbor has cancer is much different than finding out they have depression or schizophrenia. But hashtags like stop the stigma bring the community to an awareness that wasn't previously there. The research shows that people with mental illness are typically victims of violence, not the cause of violence. And so we need to keep in mind that if you see somebody struggling with mental illness, whether it's a neighbor or a relative or just kind of somebody that you see, that they need help just like anybody else that has any other kind of chronic illness. For News Connection, I'm Kayla Brown.